welcome to the Virginia Living Museum. We're here in the native plant nursery and we're going to take a little walk through today and just see what kind of nice plants we can find to look at. Uh, starting things off, we've got a really pretty flame azalea over here blooming. This is one of our larger specimens. We use this one for propagation for our sales here at the museum. Some other nice plants we have back here in the shrub and tree area. We have a nice sweet bush. These kind of smell like uh, tutti frutti uh, chewing gum. Interesting little flower, kind of looks almost like garlic, like a maroonish garlic clove unfurling. It's a nice plant to put in like a shady area, good smell. Another nice plant that we have are blueberries. As you can see, these have been blooming. They're kind of getting to the end of their bloom right now and they're actually starting to put fruit on. It's a really nice early season nectar plant for bees and other pollinators. And then later in the year, of course, it will supply berries for birds and other mammals. If you guys got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, also, right now, I apologize for any loud noise. We've got the generator going behind us. Some other things we have back here. This is a Carolina rose. They bloom more in the summer, but right now you can see they still have some hips on them, which are nice for birds to pick off and eat. Some other nice plants that we have that work well for birds with berries on them are the different viburnums. This is a cranberry viburnum. It's getting ready to bloom. This will have a white kind of flat topped cluster of white of flowers kind of similar to a uh, hydrangea several species of them we have here like i say this is the american cranberry we have the nanny berry also getting ready to bloom and all of these after they bloom will produce a cluster of berries which are good for birds to eat later on in the year it's a black haw another form of viburnum we have a question uh, what kind of birds frequent our gardens uh, a wide variety of birds will frequent your gardens it depends what you have there for them to eat and at this time of year of course with migration you may see many species that just happen to be passing through uh, we'll keep looking at some viburnums here this is an arrowwood viburnum these two are getting ready to start blooming We'll have a nice cluster of blueberries later in the year. And then, of course, we have a uh, let's see, a Viburnum nudum. I can't come up with the common name right now. Possum haw. One of the smaller of the species. Some other nice plants we have out here that are good for pollinators. They're just kind of getting started. Our uh, sweet pepper bush. You see the flower heads from last year are spent. They tend to be a white or a pinkish flower. This is an excellent plant to plant to entice uh, many different pollinators to come into your yard. We have a question. Uh, do you use any of the berries to feed the animals? Not here. We usually leave them out and just the native birds come through and pick them off and eat them in our gardens and also back here in the nursery. What's this one, Daryl? This is a chokeberry this has a really nice smell to it blooming now and then it produces a red fruit another good bir bird tree the uh, fruits are available for them through the winter it tends to be one of the last berries that they eat we had another question is the dogwood blooming in the conservation garden yes it is uh, we have a question from Jennifer do you raise all the plants that you sell yes Right now we raise everything except for quite often our pitcher plants. What do we got going through here? As we move through, we've got a nice uh, Carolina jessamine blooming. It's a nice vine. It blooms yellow this time of year. A good companion plant to plant with this on a trellis is a coral honeysuckle. The native red honeysuckle, which blooms blooms at the same time of this it gives you a combination of the reds and yellows good uh, the coral honeysuckle also will attract hummingbirds to your garden and it will produce some berries which will produce bring other birds into your yard later in the year we 
move into the shade house. We've got some nice columbine blooming. This is a nice hummingbird attracting plant, early spring bloomer. Tends to start blooming about the time which they arrive, which is right around the middle of this month. Some other nice plants we have in here. These would be a friend, French tree, has kind of a coconut smelling blossom to it. Kind of a long stringy blossom. Very slow growing. We have some Adamasco lilies blooming Ooh. at the time. Blooms last about a day, but often you get more than one bloom on the plant. Often blooms somewhere around Mother's Day. We have some marsh marigold here blooming right now. These are looking really nice. If you have kind of a part shade, moist area in your yard, this is a nice addition good early season pollinator plant providing nectar. What's your favorite native plant, Daryl? I love them all. Does Virginia have any plants that bloom in cold months? I'm trying to think of what blooms in a cold month. I can't think of anything right off the top of my head that's native. What's this one? Here we have a bunch of uh, Jacob's Ladder. They're kind of at the end of their bloom right now. They have a nice kind of a purpley blue flower. It's another good early spring bloomer to provide some nectar for our pollinator species. Different butterflies and bees. Uh, just getting started, we have several species of milkweed in here. These happen to be swamp milkweed. Some of them are just starting to pop up. They're a little bit slow. They tend to come up a little bit later in the year when it warms up. This, of course, is a nice plant to have to, for your monarch butterflies. And then, of course, the flower will provide nectar for many different species. Uh, we've got some creeping flocks in here. Have some in pots here and a little bit in flats. The ones in the flats are actually blooming a little bit better right now. This is a... Are there uh, specific plants that would attract butterflies? Uh, yes, most of what we have that are blooming will attract butterflies as they're good uh, nectar producers. Uh, do most of these come back every year? Yes, all of these are perennials and will come back every year. Especially since they're native, huh? This is their kind of ideal habitat. Yes, they do very well in this area and once they get established they'll use less water uh, and require less fertilizer and other maintenance. What's this guy here? This guy that's blooming is a Fothagilla. It's actually native a little bit south of us. It looks a lot like a witch hazel, which we have in these pots here. You can see the similarity in the leaf, but the bloom is much different. Witch hazel, actually someone earlier asked if we have a cold season blooming plant. Witch hazel sometimes starts blooming in February, and it has a very stringy kind of yellow blossom. Very sweet smelling, very nice nice little shrubby tree. I've seen those in our conservation garden, is that right? Yes. What's this one over here, Daryl? We have several species of native azaleas here. They're all uh, rhododendrons. That one happens to be a flame azalea. Is this the same one that we walked in that on was the beginning? the same as the big one. We've got uh, coastal azalea. Looks a lot like the dwarf azalea kind of white with a pink stamens. Are these related to most azaleas that people have in their yards? No, these are different. These are actually related to your rhododendrons. We've got, got some nice green golds here blooming, which is a good ground cover for a shady area if you have one. We have a little bit more of the chokeberry here blooming. AJ, age six, wants to know if you get butterflies in your garden. Yes, we get many different species of butterflies in our gardens here at the museum. We have another question. Uh, what poisonous plants should people watch out for in Virginia? Uh, poison ivy, for one. <laughs> 
but you shouldn't tr eat any type of plant unless you're absolutely sure that it is an edible plant because many plants while they may not be really poisonous they will at least make you kind of ill and wish you hadn't eaten them we have a nice stand of uh wild blue phlox here it's another good early spring blooming plant good butterfly attractant also very sweet smelling very nice smelling plant this would work good with some columbine or something and it kind of the reds and the purples blooming at the same time same type of area what are these these are labrador violets kind of have a trailing habit so over time they'll kind of spill over if you have a rock garden or somewhere where they can actually trail down over top of something they're really very attractive As we move down through here, we've got some wild geraniums. This is the plant of the year this year for our native plants. What makes it the plant of the year? People vote on them and it becomes, becomes the plant of the year. It's very pretty, so I think it's worth being plant of the year. Good early season bloomer, uh, kind of part shade. Here we have a uh, field pussy toes. This is the host plant for the American lady butterfly. It's a nice ground cover. Mm -hmm. And it gets really interesting as a ground cover when it's not blooming. And then as far as host plants, this is the host for the black swallowtail. This is a uh, golden Alexander. This is one of my favorites. It's really nice. You get this nice yellow kind of flat top bloom head in the spring and then later in the year the swallowtails come they'll lay their eggs on it and their caterpillars will pretty much eat every bit of this plant down but then you get some nice butterflies in your yard all right well i think we're going to probably call it for the day i appreciate y'all coming and spending some time with us uh keep an eye out to find out what's going to happen with their native plant sale we're still trying to get all of that in the works and figure out if there's some way we can get some of these wonderful plants to you guys keep in touch with us on our website and through our social media to see what's going on here and have a great day thank you very much